working with our sister communities across the border and when we've got equipment sometimes that we've we don't no, no longer need because we've been able to upgrade it into better equipment, but it's still useful. It is it's, it's supremely helpful to some of these other smaller towns uh, along the border with whom we have to live with and work with. And so uh, we're going to be donating this one today. Thankfully, as you know, with fire trucks, they don't they don't have to run them every day. You don't have a bunch of big fires every day, but you have enough of them, uh, obviously, that you've got to have good equipment. They last a long time. But in Laredo, of course, we continue to upgrade and make sure that we've got the highest quality uh, for our first responders. Uh, but then it also frees up some of this equipment that can be used in other places. Every donation we get from Laredo is always a benefit of Nuevo Leon. We have had 73,000 vaccines donated for, our, for us, and now this truck means a lot. I hope this is just the start of a collaboration, a donation, both ways. Yeah, we're excited, elated at uh, the fact that the uh, bridge restrictions have been lifted. Now we have Mexican people coming in. There's numerous reasons why we're so excited. One is the fact that families can now see, see themselves reunited. Uh, uh, also, too, obviously the economy is going to be a tremendous boost, especially the downtown area. And also, too, there's an opportunity for the, uh, the uh, Mexican people uh, that accompany the adults, especially the, uh, the minors, to come in and plan for vaccination uh, so you know we appreciate it. it's a good day in laredo texas and and uh, and i appreciate all the efforts and work that has been done in washington of course of the state and here and of course our counterparts in mexico so thank you and god bless